Welcome to Hot to Spot Thermography. I would like to borrow five minutes of your time to demonstrate the importance of having an infrared electrical safety inspection performed on your electrical system. In this image, you will notice the bright and dark colors. The brighter the color, the higher the temperature, and darker colors, the lower the temperature. As indicated by the red marker, which tells us we have a maximum temperature inside the white outline box of 170 degrees Fahrenheit in an elapsed time of 3 minutes and 16 seconds and a minimum temperature indicated by the blue marker of 73.2 degrees Fahrenheit, which is normally close to being your ambient temperature. Notice the high temperature marker is located on the plug insert slot. Along with the quick temperature rise in the first 15 seconds, tells me this receptacle is faulty and can become a serious hazard if not replaced. Next, we have an advanced in time. After one minute of testing, we have reached temperatures over 140 degrees Fahrenheit, which exceeds the maximum temperature rating for the installation. Type NM, known by the trade name Romex, has an insulation rating of 140 degrees Fahrenheit. When the maximum temperature rating for a wiring system is reached, the damage begins. Deterioration of the insulation over time can lead to the failure of its insulating properties. This failure can lead to short circuits, ground faults, metal parts becoming energized, leading to the painful shocks or even death by electrocution, and the need to replace the entire circuit costing the homeowner extensively. Notice when I scan over the appliance core, the maximum temperature is only 96 degrees Fahrenheit. This gives us an idea of the maximum operating temperature that should be viewed on this receptacle. This section reveals hidden dangers you may not know even exist. Most receptacles are parallel fed with multiple receptacles on one circuit. This is including your lighting loads too. As seen in this section, the temperature rise is due to a loose connection parallel feeding another receptacle. Notice the temperature rise compared to the other receptacle. We are at our maximum operating temperature for the first 30 seconds. But as the test continues, at one minute we have exceeded our normal operating temperature indicating a faulty receptacle. Let's look at the dangers of a parallel fed receptacle. An outside receptacle that has become rusted and corroded is fed from your living room receptacle. Just running a TV, computer, a few lamps is not pulling a tremendous load, so the heating is minimal. But now it's time to vacuum your car. Well, a standard vacuum pulls 12 amps. And let's not forget the TV, the computer, and those few amps, which are probably around 3 amps. Now we have 15 amps on this circuit, which according to section 210.21 of the National Electrical Code, which states 12 amps is the maximum allowable load on a 15 amp circuit, we have overloaded this circuit. Over many years, the excessive heat has broken down the wiring insulation to a point of failure. Now we have a fire. Being outside, it isn't noticed and allowed to grow to the point of engulfing the entire wall. In this next section is a receptacle that I found that meets the exact scenario all but the fire, but that is just a matter of time as you will see. This receptacle is an outside receptacle that is parallel with two rooms in a house. There are 10 receptacles on this one circuit. Just for demonstration purposes, I plugged a standard portable electric heater that only pulls 12 amps. I put an amp meter on this circuit at the time of test and the load was at 13.5 amps. So there was only 1.5 amp load being contributed from the other 9 receptacles, which in a normal day would be much higher. Watch the dangerous temperature rise that occurs. I have advanced the time to the end of the test. Notice the heater cord is only 96 degrees Fahrenheit, which again is the maximum operating temperature as you will see in the next section. I show an image of the heater just to show how hot at full power they can get. Notice the temperature on the receptacle now at 107 degrees Fahrenheit. That is 30 degrees Fahrenheit above the maximum allowable temperature for the wire and insulation. This is a very dangerous situation. And just think how hot this receptacle would get if allowed to run all night, which is what most people do with a portable heater. It's something to really think about. This last section demonstrates the proper operating temperature of a receptacle. The same load is applied as in the earlier sections. Notice the much cooler temperatures. As we move to the end of the test, notice the elapsed time at 3 minutes and we are only at 95 degrees Fahrenheit. If you will remember back in the video, the heater's cord was also at 95 degrees Fahrenheit. With my years of electrical experience and the infrared thermal testing I have performed on receptacles, I have found that 95 to 99 degrees Fahrenheit is the maximum operating temperature of a 15 amp receptacle at full load. This knowledge allows me to test your receptacles and find any hidden faults that may one day start a fire. Thank you for taking the time to become educated about the dangers that we sleep with every night. As you have seen in this video, the risks are real and the potential is always there. 
Have your electrical system inspected before it's too late. Thank you.